What's going on everyone? So today we're gonna to take a look at XRP, otherwise known as Ripple, give some price predictions, technical analysis, look at some news, what's happening with Ripple. So first off, let's just look at the current price and market cap. So here we are ranked number seven for today. We're still top 10, so it looks good for now. 55 cents current price point. The last 24 hours, slightly red, not a big deal, but then the last seven days, we're up in the green pretty much up seven plus percent. Now the current market cap is at 25.2 bill. And this is currently what we have so far. Now let's hop over to the chart and let's just see what's going on. And before I continue, just wanna let you guys know this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice. Be sure you go and research before making any investments. And aside from that guys, all right, so here we are, 55 cents. Now, at least right now, I'm gonna switch this to a, a longer time frame in a second, but I'm using the one hour time frame US pairing on the Bitfinex exchange. Current price, 55 cents. Now, no, it is the weekend. So in terms of demand, unless some crazy news happens over this last, let's say, next few days or so, I don't see too much happening in terms of the price. But uh, at least next week, maybe the next few weeks, we could see some more action. But right now, I think it's going to be fairly slow and steady. But at least looking at the short term, right? The last few days, we did break out the 50 EMA. And it looks like we are trending upwards right now. So if we can break some of the resistance around this price point, around the 57 cent mark, which it looks like we could potentially do that the next few hours, maybe tomorrow, who knows? Hopefully that's assuming that, you know, people still continue to buy in. Then we could see that potentially break out and then maybe even test these 60 cent price points up here. So you can see here, if I zoom in a little closer, we did run up from this 45 cents all the way up to potentially, looks like we got 57 cents. And then we did bounce off the 50 MA. Now we're continuing to trend upwards right now. So again, this is still short term, but let's say worst case, something happens, maybe demand just diminishes and people just don't want to you know, participate with XRP anymore. Then we could see this test the support levels closer to the 53. And then once this dips below the 50 MA, then I could see this start to trend downwards for a bit. And depending on how many people decide to sell off, I mean, we could see this test support areas closer down to maybe the 40 cents. Below the 50 cent price point, I'd say pretty much since that's an even number and psychologically, a lot of people like to maintain or at least get in at these even numbers. So let's say that's the worst case for the short term, but let's just look at this from like a longer viewpoint, right? So let's switch this to like the four hour chart. And if we were to zoom in, let me just shrink this a little bit. And you can see here, so for the past few months, pretty much, because currently before we were looking at it literally like the past few days, but now we can see more of like a monthly view. And since, you know, December upwards up to today, and pretty much when we had the lows over here, so we had the lows of basically 17 cents. And since then, you know, obviously we had so much volatility and people might say, hey, you know, whatever news they want to say. But if you were to just to hold since the lowest of last uh, December, up until today, that's still 200 plus gain. So when they say HODL, H-O-D-L, hold on for dear life, this is what they mean. Because if you were to sit here and try to time the market, in reality is like, is there's no way you're gonna know exactly when the best time to get in. And obviously if some news comes out or some crazy thing that you don't know or predicted, then guess what? You could lost a lot of money, especially like for people got in here. So just looking at this current thing, I just drew this basic trend line upwards. And you can see here since then, I mean, we've been pretty much trending upwards this whole time. So yeah, if you see in the short term, it looks like, you know, you buy a dip by dip, but basing off the historical, the last few months, I mean, so far it looks fairly bullish to me. Worst case, I mean, we're to um, drop back down to the potential this trend line area, looking up below 50 cents, like 47, give or take. And then I could see this consolidating for a bit. And if this were to continue trending and some good news comes out regarding the lawsuit and all that, then guess what? We could see this price skyrocket. But at least right now from an overview, it is still trending upwards. We still have a lot of time. So just note people who look in the short term, if you just look at this, like the, the time frame, it's months, right? So this is May now, now we're in June, summertime. So don't expect this to be some quick, you know, skyrockets and then goes on forever. It's not going to happen like that. But uh, basically, short term, at least I could see this consolidating for a bit. And just depending on demand and what happens, we could see this potentially reaching past the 60 plus price point. And then hopefully we can test back and reach this 78. So if I were to measure at this, this high point here. Now, if we can reach the 78 uh, point or 75 cents and then break it out, then we could test the 78. And then next thing you know, it it's off from there. But that's, I'd say, too far out for right now. But at least in the short term, I see this just general view of what XRP is doing looks quite bullish, trending upwards. So unless we break down from the 47 cents and then start trending downwards, then that might not be um, good news. That I would also assume Bitcoin is not doing well too. Because again, guys, I mean, Bitcoin was at like 52 the other day or so, and now it's back up to 55. So again, if the crypto market is doing well, I wouldn't be surprised to see XRP 
maintaining its position. Now, if it starts to crash, Bitcoin goes to like 30K, you know, or 25, whatever, whatever price and it drops drastically, then I wouldn't be surprised to see this tank um, XRP and the other altcoins too. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see for that. But now let's just take a look at some news articles, guys. And also, if you want to see more updates on the market, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button, guys, so this video gets seen for more people and they can learn more about XRP and the crypto space. But here, let's check this out. So this is a recent article right here, just 22 hours ago. SEC versus Ripple, U.S. judge orders both parties from the XRP lawsuit to hold a discovery conference. So if you're watching this early, you can see that this is going to happen on April 6th. So basically, have this little uh, conference going on on Tuesday, April 6th. So that's like, well, like a week or two from now. But um, if you already see this in the future, then you probably already know. But basically here, so check this out. On March 15th, the lawyers representing Ripple. And what they did pretty much, they asked the judge to um, basically get the SEC to produce documents that are regarding the actual regulators lawsuits against a fintech firm. And what they're arguing is that... Uh, like if you say, for instance, that the lawyers allege that the SEC has failed to provide a single document concerning Bitcoin or Ether, which are two virtual currencies that are closely analogous to XRP. So basically, they're very similar to XRP. And then they state another thing, too, which is interesting, is that the SEC is failing to produce internal documentation that relates to XRP's legal status. And they also state that the um, lawyers are also seeking any documents from 10 of the 19 custodians the defendants have posed. And basically, the our, um, XRP army reacted, and here's like a little um, tweet somebody posted, and said this would be a huge step as finally the internal comms of the SEC news will be revealed April 6th, and that would be a day to look forward to. A lot of clarity might come out. So, I mean, pretty much, I keep going, but the, the main thing is April 6th, we'll get some more clarity on what's happening, and maybe see some more updates on that. So I'm not going to go spend too much time, but that's just like a little quick uh, recent article I could find. So here pretty much this is another article I found on Reddit and it's Mojo Loop won this hackathon, which is hosted by BIS, which is known for Bank for International Settlements. And pretty much what they did was this um, hackathon where they had this interledger based solution to bridge the last mile for cross-border payments. Now, here you guys can read into this and talk about this more like technical stuff. But I'd say most people might not program or understand this type of terminology. So I'm not going to spend too much time on here. But what I want to do is just give a summary. Basically, a lot of banks were involved in here. And then we can go down here. So this is like XRP and Ripple where they involved. So they stated in general, it's not like part of Ripple, but they have a lot of connections. And they state here pretty much. So first off, the ILP is not tied to any single company, blockchain, or currency. However, it's closely related to Ripple and XRP and they're providing an interface to the XRP ledger. And also they have a close relationship with uh, Ripple Labs as well. So in terms of the connection, it seems like they're fairly close to Ripple. And then they have here too, we can see the um, proposed solution. They rely on this um, ILP, which was developed by Stephen Thomas, the former CTO of Ripple and the current CEO of Coil. And yeah, so what we got some big names here. The supporting members, you got Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Google, Motors Box, and then these other companies and Rockefeller too. So in terms of this um, hackathon and this backing behind this, it seems like they have quite the setup, the, quite the network behind this. And then here you can see back in here, they have been involved with the foundation since inception 2017. So just in general, this is pretty cool to see Ripple's involvement and just potential connections. So maybe we could see this in the future, something going on with that. But I just wanna show you guys this update here. And then the last thing, the last thing I wanna share with you that, that could potentially skyrocket the price is getting listed back on Coinbase. So right now, obviously, they have here on Coinbase the SEC's recent action against Ripple, pretty much that they suspended all trading, right? Now, Coinbase, massive exchange in the US, aka easy access, use your phone if you need to, or desktop. Once that's back and everything is settled, there's no more lawsuits, nothing issues, then guess what? This probably will skyrocket. Again, that's just my own prediction. I'm speculating that it could. It could crash too. Who knows, right? But... Once we get more demand and there's more uh, confirmation of what's really happening, then I'd say that translates into Ripple's price. But short term, there's not really much happening. So, I mean, at this point, we can see trend upwards for a bit. But other than that, I mean, we'll have to see something big before we can see some really big spikes in the price. And aside from that, if you guys made it this far in the video and you want to get two free stocks by up to 1850 bucks, then go ahead and click the first link in the description below. Sign up for an account and as long as you deposit $100 minimum or more, you'll be able to receive two free stocks by up to 1850 bucks. And they also got cryptocurrencies on there as well. So definitely fit everybody out there. And aside from that, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.